Good morning guys and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back! So today I went to a book con. Fun. I went to a panel and then I went to a mega signing and got a bunch of books signed and I'm very excited to show you all the things I got. Today we, me and Rachel, are at Yes Book Con, which is Young Adult Southern Book Con, <laughs> book convention. Yeah. And we just got out of a panel about 30 minutes ago and it was fun, so I'll insert the only clip I got from that right now. <laughs> I got to take a picture with Jay Asher and the other authors that were there, so that was super cool. And later, when I get back to my room, I will tell you about what they talked about. So I only got one clip because I didn't want to like film them because that'd be weird. So I went to a panel called Super Bad. So the point of it was for the authors to share some of their really bad writing from either the beginning of their writing career or like early drafts of things that have come out or things that haven't come out and all the, you know, super bad things. So it's called Authors Expose Their Early Writing. Um, Jay Asher was there along with David Arnold, Courtney C. Stevens, Ashley Herring Blake, and Sheba Kareem was there. And I got to take a picture with all of them and I will insert that right here. And what they talked about was like super cool. Almost all of them, except Jay Asher, read some really bad writing. Sheba Kareem <laughs> read a draft from when she was super, super young and it was really funny. Everyone was cackling and it was amazing. After that, they reminded us that whatever you write first is not gonna be good. It's gonna be super bad and it's gonna suck royal balls, as David Arnold said, but you just have to keep writing and keep revising, get people to critique it and read it and give you feedback, and eventually just send it off. Not everyone is gonna get your story, but that's okay. That's what they talked about, and I thought it was really great advice. If you ever get the chance to go to a book con, you should totally go, because it's amazing to meet writers. But right now, me and Rachel are walking to a signing, and Jay Asher's gonna be there, and I really hope we're, that they're selling books so that I can get one signed because I actually don't have a copy of his book even though I did read it and I did watch the show. Don't honk at me ever again. So yeah, that's where we're going and I'm really, really excited. So then I went to a mega signing, as I said before, and my friend Rachel vlogged it all for me, so I'll insert those clips now. All the authors follow Rachel, or they will soon. <laughs> so follow Rachel's Instagram right on the screen. If you should give me arcs, I will gladly take any free books. Oh yes, me too. And I'll review them on my YouTube channel. Mm. Yeah, I'll review them. I have a blog. I can review them on my blog. Yeah. yeah. If you're an author and you want a free review, me. Because I will gladly take a free book. Oh um, yeah, I'll take a free book. Like, yeah. That's your, your price. Like my Asher. <laughs> I told him thank you for liking my tweet because I'm so awkward. <laughs> and he, he just liked I another I that one. On that's like, amazing. I, that here. <laughs> I felt so weird saying thank you for liking my tweet. I'm excited. So excited. And I got a lot of books. I got like six or seven books. And I got all of them signed except for one. But that one is by my professor. <laughs> So I'll just ask him in class if I really want it signed. Yeah. A total of seven books. <laughs> I spent too much money. All of them are signed except one because he wasn't there, but it's fine. I got Faking Normal by Courtney C. Stevens and she signed it on this page. She said, channel your brave. And then I got this book, Cemetery Girl by David Bell. He is actually one of my professors here at university, so that's very exciting. But he wasn't there to sign it, but I figured it was fine because 
he's my professor, so if I really, really, really want it signed, I could just take it to class and have him sign it there. Then I got Kids of Appetite by David Arnold. He's one of the other authors that I saw at the panel, and he signed it also. Authors are so cool because they write little cute things in their books, and it's it's fun. It's fun. So I got that. I'm really excited to read it. Oh, I forgot. David Arnold also gave me this thing with K-O-A. He said it'll make more sense when I read the book. So, And he gave one to Rachel too, even though she didn't buy one of his books, but that's super cool of him. And then I got The Warrior Heir by Cinda Williams Trima. She was there and I got her to sign it and she said never stop believing in magic and gave me this bookmark. And then I got three of Jay Asher's books. I got 13 Reasons Why, which I've already read, but I didn't have a copy of it and I had him sign it, so I thought that was really cool. So I got 13 Reasons Why, the original cover, because I like the original cover better than all the other ones. And then I got What Light by Jay Asher and The Future of Us by Jay Asher, and he signed all of them for me. And I'm so grateful to have been able to meet them all and talk to them, and it was super cool. And Jay Asher liked my tweet on Twitter two of them, so I'm lit. And now I have to go write a one-page response for Dr. Bell, <laughs> so he'll know that I went to this event and I can get credit for going. And I can even show him a book I purchased, and I saw him there even though he left before the signing. But yeah, I'm gonna go write a one-page response now, and I'm gonna use most of what I said here. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's all that I have for you today, so thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe so you can join my family. Hit the little bell to get notified whenever I post a video so you won't miss it. And that's it. So have a great morning, and if I don't see you later, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. whenever I post a video. Oh, I just realized I've been looking into the viewfinder the whole time instead of the lens like I usually do. Mm. That's so annoying. I'm the worst.